I did buy Rainbow Six Vegas too because there is always that online component and that that's like a huge buy for me because Condemned Online, whatever. Rainbow Six Vegas too. Man, it's totally awesome. The action is awesome. The story is shit. But the action, oh my god. It's so satisfying when you shoot someone in the head or you like you gun down someone using blind fire. You hear that shot going through his body. And you see the blood spurts on the walls. That does a, that's always a cool effect. Like when games do that right, the blood spurt and it sprays on the wall like Half Life 2. Uh I think Halo had it to some extent. But it's not red, Pfft, whatever, alien blood. But man, that shit is awesome. But like, man, I've been encountering some huge bug in the game. You know, I could, I could, don't, I won't say about online because it's already been said before. You know, you can't enter rooms because like it's just three out of four players, and uh, you press on it. Oh, server uh, capacity is full. Like, what? It's like there's a huge lag on probably on server list, so it's on their end. That's my guess. So they should fix that. But my problem is, uh. I just today I encountered it. I don't know. I should have. I should have taped it. Like I, my mom has a digital camera, and has a video, so I should have like recorded it for you to see. But there was this one point in the campaign. I think it was at the fourth level. In the one of the casinos, the first. I think the first casino. I when I when I when I, en when I enter the room myself, my custom character, the game will just like quit like immediately and just go straight to the X and B, the cross media bar, and I was like. Okay, that must have been just like a glitch, a bad, bad crash, right? And I started up again, lowered from the checkpoint, and then I went by myself again, entered the room, and it stopped the very exact point I reached. And I was like, it did the same thing. It quit, and I went to the X and B. Then I was like, you know what? Let me try this time, but let my teammates enter the room. And they entered the room, they killed the guy, I entered the room, no crashing. So it was like... If I enter the room, it crashes, but they enter the room, it doesn't. Totally fucked up, man. Totally fucked up, Ubisoft. Fuck it. And you see this thing online where, let's say you sign in, then someone signs in with your account because you shared something with him. Right? But you, like, he, he signs in accidentally, then it signs you out, right? Then a message pops up, you've been signed up for Xbox Live. And you're using it on a PS3. Kudos, Ubisoft, Montreal, or whatever. Because, man, you totally fucked. And then you see this fucking video interviews. We worked on multiplayer first. And we, that's what we really, really, really uh, focused on. <laughs> and then, like, the game's online portion is utter shit. Because you can't even enter any rooms. Or when, if some, like, I entered the room, like, it took me, like, at least five tries, right? I was like, you know what? Everyone starts from the top. But I was like, you know what? I should start from the bottom. And it worked. I got into a room, and then, like, it was playing fine. There was no lag. But I got killed my ass. Like, retarded. I think, and then the multiplayer, holy shit. It looks so fucking ugly. Like, I was like, what, what the fuck is this? A PS2 game? And then, oh my god. But, man, the action is... It, I wish they would release that game as a $40 game because all it is is an expansion pack and that's all it is because a single player you can beat it within what 8 to 10 hours then you're done with it you won't even touch it again but everyone will touch Terrorist Hunt and online multiplayer that's all they're gonna do they're just gonna touch fucking co uh, story once just to get all oh, just to see what happens right because the first game ends in a fucking cliffhanger. Don't ever do that unless you know yourself. Developer knows that we could make a better game the next game. Don't make a fucking add-on pack. Fucking retarded. Damn. <sighs> Makes me angry. Uh, as for other purchases, here is the Metal Gear Solid Essential Collection. Awesome. I started playing uh, Metal Gear Solid, but then I, then I was like, you know what? Because uh, I just tried it out. Metal Gear Solid Two, Five Point One is awesome, and that's only and that only cinematic, the first beginning. Uh, 
because I stopped playing Mega Solid because on PlayStation because I got Twin Snakes on eBay. The guy was selling it mints. You know, there's what a fingerprint on one of the discs. Nothing major, because I even bought a memory card, fifteen dollars, on uh, Amazon for the two hundred fifty-one uh, block blocks. Who uses that shit? Oh, oh, you the wee retarded. But uh, I got Twin Snakes. This will be my because like I find it so cool that the Wii, like I don't think people know this. It's one hundred percent compatible with GameCube games, because all it is is a GameCube, right? <laughs> a GameCube with motion control. So that's that's pretty funny. But um, people, I think people don't like the hardcore will know, but like casual consumers will be like, oh, this just plays Wii games, but they don't know it plays fucking GameCube games and Twin Snakes. Holy shit! You know, sure, some things are different, like the movement speed, for some reason, like, uh, I find that Snake feels disconnected with the world, like, he's, like, instead of, like, walking, he's, like, sliding, uh, I don't know, I must have been, like, on something, or just, like, out of it that day, but I don't know, it just doesn't feel right, and, like, the images, like, out because I was playing the PlayStation version, the images in the codex screen, in the in Twin Snakes, it's like it's so compressed you can even see the pixels. But when I play a PlayStation version in a like correctly upscaled to 1080p, but because because the upscale doesn't really makes it render at 1080p, it just outputs a signal at 1080p without so that it will minimize latency. And I was comparing the pictures like man, the PlayStation version codec screens look so much better, and oh my goodness, oh my goodness, I think this is a reason why because like. If anyone noticed, in MGS4, Naomi Hunter doesn't have her English accent anymore. Or whatever accent she had, the African, uh, South African accent she had. And when I was playing Twin Snakes, they redone the voices. And Mei Ling and Naomi Hunter, they don't have her, their accents anymore. Like, Naomi Hunter doesn't have that, Oh, I'm a British person accent. God, that's a lame British person accent. And Mei Ling doesn't have her, Hi, sh- uh, Hi Nick, how are you meeting today? Like she doesn't sound like fucking totally Chinese. Like she, like if you play Mega Sound, right, for some reason I blocked that out of my mind that she's like totally she's like fucking stereotypical Asian where she like she slurs everything. And I was like, in Twin Snakes she doesn't do that anymore. I was like, mm, oh, pretty nice change there. Pretty nice change there. Damn, I just got a third one. This tastes pretty good. Samuel Adams. Ooh, Sammy Adams light. Who fucking drinks light beer unless you are? Oh, you don't want to gain weight when you drink beer. Ooh. What? Whatever. As you can see from that video I made of why there is no voice chat in uh, Super Smash Brothers Brawl, I'm kind of plump, but trying to lose weight. Anyways, uh, other game I got. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Crisis Core, Final Fantasy 7. Man, like when I started playing the game, it brought back all the memories. Oh my goodness. Be me, 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 me. There's Eris, oh, dousing herself in rain and her droplets. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, you have the Tifa love triangle. Tifa, make love to me. <laughs> Anyways, uh,. Yeah, brought back memories. And the music, man, brought back memories. But Zack is actually a likable character. He's not down and shit. He's like, I'm gonna kill myself. I'm emo. I'm cloud. Or Zack is all happy, happy, joy, joy. Like, I wanna kill people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Get my sword out and like, change shit. Oh, yeah. I'm totally excellent. Oh, Zack. And there's like this guy named Angeal. Who's like, I'm, but man, the voice actor with Angeal, horrible. <laughs> he couldn't even deliver his lines right. Like, at least with Zach, you know, he's, he sounds natural, but man, the guy who plays Angeal, he had a new job, Jesus. 